What's up, YouTube? Back at it once again. Back at you with another video. This particular video, I've been wanting to do this video for a while, but I'm just now getting around to it. And it should help the ignorant people that I'm trying to convey this message over to. And I will title this video, Trucking 101 for You Fucking Idiots. That's right. Trucking 101 for You Fucking Idiots. Why is it that you idiots don't respect a truck? A big ass truck. And I'm talking about a tractor trailer, a combination vehicle that can weigh up to 80,000. And if you're 80,000 pounds, that's a fine. <laughs> but you got this vehicle, a combination vehicle, a trailer and a tractor. The tractor is the vehicle that pulls the trailer or haul the trailer around and this big machine do not get respect from you fucking idiots now who are the idiots that I'm referring to well in the trucking industry they are called four wheelers that's the term that the truckers use we call all the idiots that's on the highways and byways. We call them four wheelers. Cars, SUVs, pickup trucks, four wheelers. And how you stupid, ignorant motherfuckers don't respect that truck. That truck is hauling 40, up to 45,000 pounds, maybe even 46. And the total weight of the truck can be 77,000, 78,000. And you have all this weight on this truck. But the cargo itself, 45,000. And these idiots in these four wheelers assume that this big ass, heavy ass truck can stop on a dime. You're a motherfucking idiot. You need to respect that truck, idiot. You idiots will move over if you in the hammer lane or the fast lane. If you in the fast lane and a cop or a state trooper will get behind this idiot in the forward. This idiot will move out of the cop's way. And the cop is speeding, of course he is. He's not doing the speed limit, and the idiot in the four will understand this. So he, or the idiot, moves out of the hammer lane, out of the fast lane, to get out of this authority's way, to get out of this cop's way. Respect the cop. You respect the cop, so you move over. But let it be a trucker. That is on a time frame, that's on a tight time frame, that has to make his delivery at a certain time, he got to be on time with his load. So the pressure is already on the truck route to get this load on time. And what do you idiots do? You four wheelers, what do you idiots do? You drive like a fucking snail behind the truck. And you won't move or won't get over. See? Because you don't respect that truck and we, and respect what that driver has to do with his load. You won't even move over for him. 
That's what you idiots do. When you cut that big truck off and you, you pass by the truck, get over in the lane that the truck is, is, is in, you get right behind the truck, then get your brakes. Almost like you want to be in the accident with this big truck, which I think is fucking foolish. <laughs> you know? That's how many of these truckers have, uh, that's how many of these truckers be in accidents, fucking with these idiots in these four wheelers. Not respecting the truck or the truck driver or what he do. And he delivered products all throughout the country. The same product that you use, you fucking idiot, but you don't respect the truck driver. Don't respect the truck. They should pass a law that every idiot that decides to drive a four-wheeler, it should be mandatory that you pass or that you have a commercial, a commercial knowledge. You don't have to have the commercial license, but... At least you had a general knowledge about air brakes. Every idiot should take the general knowledge test. And if you can't pass that general knowledge test, then you don't get a fucking driver's license. Because if you have that general knowledge about commercial vehicles, maybe you wouldn't drive as stupid as you do, and you will respect this big-ass truck. And I was taught, you don't lock them bricks up for anything. You know what I'm saying? You don't lock those bricks up. So if your ass ever get in front of me and try something stupid, that's your ass. I'm going to run right to the back of you. Because when it comes to life, I'm going to put mine above yours. I'm going to save my life, and I'm going to take yours. I'm not going to lock my breakups to protect you and your ignorance to cause a jackknife to kill myself and innocent people behind me all because you want to be some fucking fool in a forward. And you don't respect the truck. You fucking idiot. <laughs> Must I want your car or your life? Because a truck driver will fuck you up. Getting tired of your stupidity. Learn how to respect the truck. If you see the truck is behind you and you're doing 40 miles an hour in a 60 mile zone, get the fuck out the way. Get the fuck out the truck driver's way. As I said earlier, the trucker is on a, a time schedule. And now they have a such thing called uh, computer logs. Computerized logs that the DOT control. And if you viol uh, violate, if you violate any of these hours that is mandatory, that is mandatory that you obey. You will be fined. So now you're losing money. There's a lot of drivers out here that's losing money because of this fucking computer log shit. It restricts the driver, put much pressure on the driver, trying to do all that he can do before his time runs out. Not only does it put pressure on the driver, but it also take away from his money making. So not only are the truckers seeing less money, they also have restricted hours because they can't cheat. They can't cheat the rule with this computer log. So half of these truck drivers are stressed out. Half of these truck drivers mad. They will run your ass over if you let make them. Stop playing around with these trucks, people. Respect the truck. 
you want to ride alongside the, the trucker's blind spot, thinking you can beat the truck. This is why these big ass trucks got so many mirrors around the truck. So we can see you, you stupid motherfucker. The four wheeler. Some of these drivers, truck drivers, drive in a certain way to protect your stupid ass and to protect himself. But at the end of the day, don't force this truck driver to choose between your life and his life. If he's a, a professional driver and bought his business, he will take your life first. He will kill you. Don't you realize this truck is a fucking killing machine? It's a weapon? And you stupid motherfuckers don't respect it. Driving in the rain. The roads are wet and you do the same ignorant dumb shit. You will take your dumb ass past the truck. Get in the front, get in the front of the truck, then hit your brakes. Motherfucker, you trying to die? That's exactly what you're doing. If they ever pass a log where I can hit a motherfucking four wheeler and get away with it, I'll take advantage of that. Just want to ball your shit up because you was being so fucking stupid and ignorant and not respecting the truck. Nobody respect the fucking truck driver. Not DOT, not the fucking four wheelers, not the the uh the elements of the weather, nothing. Don't you know fucking trucking is a dangerous job? One of the most dangerous jobs, and you got this lazy ass police officer over there eating over eating on fucking donuts in the cut, doing nothing. And got the nerd that said you got the most dangerous job, motherfucker, you full of shit. Your job ain't shit compared to a fucking truck driver. Truck driver got many jobs, but only one title. Do more than just drive. We gotta protect you, stupid motherfucker. And don't get it twisted. Half of these damn truck drivers, they can't fucking drive even. They also are stupid bunch of motherfuckers. That's the main thing that scares me. A stupid ass truck driver. Because he's the same size as I am on the road. And he can do more harm than a stupid motherfucker driving a four wheeler. So to all you stupid, ignorant motherfuckers that are behind them four wheelers, respect a truck. You will respect a fire truck. All because they got sirens on that motherfucker. Y'all, y'all stop. Y'all just stop. See that big ass truck flying? Come on. Fire truck ain't got shit on the 18 wheel. Not with all that fucking weight pushing it. A truck driver risks his life every time he get behind the wheel of that fucking truck when he got fucking 40,000 pounds pushing it. And all you got is your fucking airlines, your air bricks to stop all that shit. Dangerous work. A whole lot of responsibility what the fucking truck drivers do. And they don't get the fucking credit for.